Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at two different gas decks that are both out on the market now. Copag from Cardamundi has now released uh, gaff decks in their 310 line, which is pretty awesome. So you might remember I did the review for the Copag 310s a while back. Uh, now you can get a red Svengali deck or a blue stripper deck or a mixed deck of red and blue gaffs. And we'll take a look at the gaff deck and a little bit of the Svengali deck right now. Both decks come in this little toga, this little uh, slider sleeve, which is awesome because I think sometimes you get gaff decks and they come in a regular box and they're not marked at all. Like they don't want to mark it from the outside and say Svengali across the front or gaff deck, right? So they made this little slidable sleeve that comes off. So in your box, when you store it, you can look at it and say, oh yeah, this is my Svengali deck. But when you take it out on the town, you just slide it out of its little sleeve and you're good to go. So that's awesome. I I wish more companies would do that, uh, or at least hide the word. You know, hide the word Svengali somewhere in the UPC, just so that I don't have to write on it myself with Sharpie marker. That'd be great, thanks. Not much to show you with the Svengali deck. If you've seen a Svengali deck before, uh, that's what it looks like, right? It's a long, short deck with a, with a force card. I don't have any idea if my force card's gonna be the same as yours. Uh, so that I'll leave unmentioned. But it's that same beautiful Copag 310 stock, that B9 finish, and uh, the hand handle great. It's a gorgeous deck. I sat there and practiced with it by cutting it, you know, like I sit there on the table and then cut and recut. Every single time I cut to the force card, no problem. Uh, it's really smooth edges, felt wonderful. If you're looking for a kick butt Svengali deck and maybe you're a little tired of the ones that have been out there in the market, you might want to check out the 310s. Gaff deck also comes in a little slider. Uh, there's a blue one up in the corner, so I wonder if that means there'll be a two someday. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, and so there's a bunch of things in this. And of course, if you know gaffs, they just help you with sleight of hand, right? Having a gaff, that means it's gonna do most of the work for you. It's gonna create a lot of your miracles with ease. Inside this deck, you're gonna get eight blank face cards, eight blank backed cards, four complete blank cards, five split faces, two reveals, 14 double backers, and 15 double facers. And I'm actually gonna turn the camera around and kind of go through these a little bit just so that you can see them right now. All right, we'll try to go through all these cards for you one at a time and just try to show them all to you. I hope I can keep them all in focus. Okay, to start things off, we've got a Joker with a Jack of Hearts reveal. And we've got a King of Hearts with a Queen of Hearts reveal in the center. We have a huge stack of blank cards. So you have double blanks and then you have blank reds and blank blues. And then also a giant stack of red and blue double backers. Here's a bunch of spade pips that have blank backs. And we have a bunch of cards that are also double facers. Here are two cards I would use in an ultimate Monty routine. Four queens that also have indifferent backs. There are some double pipped king cards with red backs and a double pipped king card with another king on the back. And like I said, don't forget, there's also a stripper deck out there. There's a tapered deck out there in this same 310. Uh, it's blue, blue back, and so you can look for all three decks. I think all three, I think they're roughly like seven bucks a piece, I wanna say, seven dollars a piece. I got all of mine at penguinmagic.com, and if you'd like to purchase yours, I would suggest you head there as well. Thanks, bye.